I would like to ask the president, and I asked him the other day, the children who died and the children who are in the prisons, please remove them. Those who have died, I want to ask this house, the Senate, let us make sure that those children get a state funeral. Those who are not criminals, these are children who had reached a dead end. We, the politicians in this house, we are the ones who carry militias. We are the ones who go and carry cattle rustlers. We are the ones who have got companies that are doing business in government departments. We are the ones who are stealing the money. Look at the national government, call, call it down, bring it down to the National Assembly. We must begin to look at issues like CDF. We must look at the Women Fund. We must look at the structure. Do we need all the people who have been given offices? Why are governors running county governments as if they are private companies where they are stealing money, buying properties abroad, driving such big vehicles, including ourselves? Why, when did we decide that I must drive a car which is 4.8 cc, that a 3,000 cc is not good enough? When our children don't have medicines, when our women are not giving birth, when we can't feed our, class, our children, when we buy fertilizer, we deal on it, we sell some of it, we sell mchanga, we are bringing it maize when we are supposed to be planting maize and giving f uh, farmers fertilizers and giving them funds so that we can get production and increase that so that we create jobs for our people. It is we politicians who won't buy two million tons. 2 million metric tons of maize we come and sell. We bring 3 million metric tons of sugar cane. Mumias is dying. Chemilil is dying. Sony Sugar is dying. Those are factories that are used to employ people. Who are the biggest dealers of investment companies in Kenya? We, the political class. What happened to Kenya Airways? Look at it now. It's smelly, filthy. It was the pride of Africa. Who runs Kenya Power? Why are we not told who are the owners of the independent power suppliers of this country? Why are we not being told who owns our national parks? But you hear money is being stolen by none other than the elites and the political class. These people out here are tired. We are messing up a good thing. Who wants to be a refugee? And there's enough for you people to eat, so long as you eat with manners. The revenue we collect is enough to run eight African countries, Kenya, Rwanda, Burundi, Tanzania. You go to Congo, you go to South Sudan, you go to Somalia, and you go to Ethiopia. That's what our good damn budget is. Just manage it, don't steal it. A few people are stealing too much. These kids out here, they know everything. They know your houses, they know where your kids go to school, they know which properties of land you have. Why must somebody have four million acres of land to his name? What happened to our mentality that we pretend and run to churches talking about Christianity, how Jesus... Do you understand what you are dealing with? The people out here don't even believe in God anymore. Let us accept that there is a new sheriff in town. That sheriff is the GNC. They are partyless, they are tribeless, they don't have money, they just have bundles and a phone. And they'll stop this country to move. Who doesn't know how many governors own apartments and houses in Kilimani Road? Each one of them owning an apartment costing 1.5 billion shillings. Why didn't the fool just go and build a hospital where he comes from? What drives me is how do you get a member of parliament driving a Mercedes that costs 49 million shillings? And we are watching and that is normal and it is okay. And it is okay. Shame on us. Then we make sure this money doesn't go to the schools. We make sure that hospitals have no money. We start building hospitals now. We want the poor people to come to those hospitals. Poor people can't come to Nairobi Hospital. They can't come to Aga Khan. They can't, some of them can't afford Kenyatta. You saw the other day, Kenyatta has a debt of 6.6 .6 billion. The Eldoret Hospital Elder KTRH has a debt of 3.9 billion. When you ask, they tell you we don't know where the money went. Are we fools? Do we need to buy houses which have got 15 bedrooms and drive 19 cars and put them in your parking lot and you want 10,000 acres of land? You want a ranch? You fools. You want to buy a ranch in Australia? This is where we are. We keep blaming the police. The policeman cannot do anything. Have we ever gone as a Senate to go and see where the police lives? How he takes his kids to school and his salary is 19,000. Unless you have 
old men and old women, people of dignity and decency, people who have got wisdom, people who are not greedy to fix this country, we will not have a country very soon. We have completely failed our people.